Hello everyone and welcome back to Wonderless Keva. Today I'm going to talk to you all about the sale and sign card and all the details you need to know in reference to it. So let's get to it. So one of the first questions that persons ask is what is the sale and sign card and it's really simple what it is is your ID on the cruise it's also your form of payment during the cruise and it's also your room key so in order to get in your room you would need this card in order to make any purchases on the cruise you would need your card and in order to get on and off the ship you would need this card once you reach to the different ports like i said you use it as a form of funding so the cruise ship is basically cashless well everywhere except for the casino that is so you would need this card if you want to purchase a drink that is not included or some food that may not be included inside the cruise so you would have to show it to whatever server is helping you and they would ask you to sign after you would have already use your card to make these purchases and you will go on the carnival hub app to see any purchases that you have made and if you have any queries you want to make sure go and take them to guest services if something doesn't appear to be right from what you have made purchases on the next question that persons normally ask is does kids get a sale and sign card and yes they do everyone that is cruising is going to get a sale and sign card now it's up to you as the parent if you have a baby or what's not to make sure keep their cards if they're at a certain age where they aren't able to keep theirs on their own the next question persons ask is how do you fund your card in order to make purchases so basically on check-in day which is two weeks before your cruise once you're checking in they're going to ask you whether you want to use a credit or debit card or you want to use cash now if you use your credit or debit card there is a fee that will be hold on your card until after the cruise and yes it will be held from the day you check in so if you're going to use a credit or debit card and your cruise is within two to six days it's going to be a hundred dollars hold held on your card or if your cruise is seven days or more it's going to be a two hundred dollar hold so just take that into consideration and depending on what other purchases you may be making on the cruise they may decide to put another hold on your car just to ensure that you would be able to pay for whatever it is by the time it's the end of the cruise now i prefer to use cash because it's easier for me to manage that way now if you decide to use the cash option you can fund it once you put monies on the kiosk it's just like an atm and you put money on as often as you like now the only disadvantage of that is that you may have to wait on a line sometimes because a lot of persons may be trying to get to the kiosk and there's only a few of them on the ship or you may have to go to guest services in order to fund your card and the disadvantage for using your credit card is you can actually overspend more than you really wanted to whereas if you put the cash or use your debit card you only get in what you actually have there available also with your sign and sale card on embarkation day they will ask you to take a photo and this photo is what they would have everyone on record when you come off of the ship and back on that they would be able to see your pictures and that'll be the proof that that is you because even though you may have the card someone else may have your card so your picture is that extra form of confirmation now the next question that persons normally ask is when do you get this card so on embarkation day once you would have already checked in and you're on the ship now once your room is ready it'll be right at your room door in like a little mailbox it'll be in an envelope and your card will be in there and then you would have access to your room at that point now the rooms are normally available at about 1 30 so unless your room is available you aren't able to get the cards until then now for those who have never seen a sale and sign card this is how it looks this is the front and back this is my previous card on my last cruise and 
a lot of persons ask what are the colors of four so the colors is really based on the amount of days that you would have cruised and this is a gold card so i do have several colors because i went on five cruises so far um this was my first card which was also my first cruise so you would see this is under my maiden name which is Kali, because we would have went on this cruise before my name had changed this was our honeymoon for your first cruise you will get a blue card so that's an easy way to know who is new and who is not on a cruise based on their card so your first cruise then you would have a red now notice I have three red cards now based on the cards even though I would have went on a cruise several times it's really based on the amount of days that those cruises were you see that I have three red cards that's because it took me three cruises in order to pass 24 days so the blue card is whereas that's your first cruise and then you get a red card anytime from your second cruise up to 24 days so you won't get a gold card until you would have reached 25 or more days worth of cruising so that's where this one came in and you would continue to have a gold card until you would have done at least 74 days worth of cruising now once you would have gotten from 75 to 199 days worth of carnival cruises then you would then get a platinum card which i have not reached that level yet but i definitely intend to be and once you would have gotten 200 or more cruises then you become the diamond level which is the highest level so those are what the colors are for and for each level you get different perks so right on the carnival website you would be able to see what each level gives you so i would put a link in the description so that you would be able to go directly to the website so that you can see which level you're at and what all perks you get for that particular level but i just want to dive into more details as to the information that is on these cards so on the cards you would see different information on it and I will go over it as well as show you it on the screen so that you can see so you would see that it has the cruise name which is the carnival celebration it also would have your name it would have the date that this cruise started it would also show your dining area and which floor it's on as well as the time that you're scheduled to be to dining as well as your table number so if you attach your group with any other persons then all of y'all would see the same table on this as well as the dining information so you'll also see your VIFP club number which is the number you get which also determines your points and that'll be on there as well as your folio number and the folio number is basically what you use once you log into the carnival hub app this is basically a code to get you on the Wi-Fi so that you'll be able to log in once you're on on board the ship and then your master station and the muster station is where you go when you first come on the cruise for them to give you the safety briefing and if there was an emergency that was to happen on the cruise then that is the area where you would go in case of an emergency so all of this information on this card is really important and if you happen to lose it you can always replace it at the guest services so another question that a lot of persons ask is what's the best way to store this sale and sign card so the best way to store your card would be with a lanyard. They sell them on the cruise if you'd like to purchase one. I got this one on the cruise. But if you prefer something a little more inexpensive, you can always go on Amazon and purchase lanyards. You probably could get about three or four of the price that they charge you for one of these on the cruise. Another way to store can also be in your waterproof phone case. So while this is for a phone, you can still put both items in your waterproof phone case. So like I said, I'll put the links in the description for both items as well as my link to, to my storefront to show you different cruise essentials that you may be interested in. Now, I know you may wonder, suppose I have a balance at the end of my cruise, do I get it back? Now once it's over $10, you can get it back the same way in which you put it on so if you use your card you get it back on your card 
if you use it through the kiosk then you could just go right to the kiosk and take it off or you can go right to guest services and take that monies back now for anything under the ten dollars would be donated to the St. Jude's organization so I hope this information today was useful and helpful to someone and that now you have a better understanding of what the sale and sign card is for. If you'd like more videos like this one, just subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I make new videos as well as leave your comments and share this video. And thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next video. Bye!